With increasing number of companies investing in building self-driving cars, it seems like self-driving cars are the way of the future. But we have to ask ourselves, how safe are they really? Let's find out. We can leave the problem of considering the car's environment sensing abilities to the engineers. All they have to do is add more accurate sensors. When things get really complicated is when more than one self-driving car interact. Think about it. Driving down a straight path, that's easy. Driving around a corner, harder, but manageable. But turning at an intersection, that's a whole other kettle of fish. That's where hybrid automata verification comes in. Don't let the name fool you. It's just a complicated way of saying self-driving car. The term hybrid is in reference to how the motion of the car is both smooth when accelerating and sudden when braking. Using hybrid autonoma verification, we just need to prove that at all places where cars will have to interact with other cars, their driving programs will not lead to a crash. How can we do this? Imagine a chessboard with two kings. We can know for sure that there will never be a checkmate. How? Because as soon as one king gets close enough to attack the other, they put themselves in check. We can illustrate this using a model. Let's say that all situations where the kings are not within attacking range can be grouped together. If you only make moves that are valid and avoid check, you can only move the kings around, never close together. Thus, we can see that the situation in which checkmate occurs cannot be achieved from this starting scenario. Similarly, we can apply this same model to self-driving cars, replacing allowed moves with moves permitted by the driving program. The checking process is sped up using a bit of maths, and eventually you should be able to find out whether a crash condition can be reached given a certain set of starting conditions. Boom! You've just verified your algorithm. Theoretically, it shouldn't ever crash with other cars. So, is it safe? Yeah, mostly. But remember, reality doesn't always follow theory.